VancouverBC.com. Exclusive. I'm Barbara Beam, and tonight we're at the 14th annual Carnivale Body Art Competition. It's brought to you by Dominelli's International College of Aesthetics. It's kind of a fancy affair. It's a black tie gala, and it is for a good cause. It's a fundraiser for the BC Professional Firefighters Association Burn Fund. Tonight we're celebrating the body's beauty in kind of a risque way. I'm with Rita Dominelli, mentor, pioneer, entrepreneur in charge of Dominelli Aesthetics, and also 14th annual Carnivale. Why is Carnivale so important? Actually, why don't you tell us why you started Carnivale? I was witness to the first ever body painting competition in Italy, mm -hmm. and the lights went on. I said, wow, that's how I'm going to promote my company, my industry, which has been so good to me, and I love this industry. So I, I just came back and I started to, to do the uh, makeup artistry on canvas. You know the burn survivors, they deal with their skin. Okay, so when this happened, it just happened, it wasn't like searched. And we thought, wow, this is so important. So this way I am going to uh, associate myself with the Burn Fund and I will expand it. I've managed to steal a couple of the directors from the Burn Fund to speak to me about why you guys are at Carnival. I've got Christy and David. David, tell, tell me why it's important for the Burn Fund to be a part of Carnival this year. Well, we were... Uh, it's your the, first year. It is. The Dominelli Group were very gracious in inviting us, and we're just glad that we can present the Burn Fund at this very nice event. Uh, we've brought some firefighters who have gladly uh, donated their time to be uh, painted in the lobby, and it's a lot of fun. It's a very neat event. And tell me a little bit about the Burn Fund for those who aren't really familiar with the organization. Well, the Burn Fund is the BC Professional Firefighters Burn Fund. We represent over 3,600 firefighters in 49 communities in the province. Uh, the money we support goes to a lot of programs, and Christy could probably tell you about the programs. Yeah, we have a variety of programs. Uh, everything from a children's burn camp that happens every July, which enables children up to the age 18 to attend uh, for six days. And they're with other kids who have sustained burn injuries, and they just have the opportunity to be a be a kid. It doesn't matter if they're scarring or what they look like. Uh, we offer other programs uh, such as Burn Awareness Week, which is about fire prevention and education. And also we've launched a new program about a year ago called The Future is Mine, which is a program for adult burn survivors uh, looking at how you get back to life after a burn injury as an adult, whether it's in a personal relationship or going back to work or just being out and about in the community when you're dealing with some possible different injuries. What exactly are you looking for uh, when you're judging the event tonight? Well, I think that, um, you know, the competitors are quite excited. They put in a lot of time and energy and spend a lot of money on this, uh, on their ideas and that. So basically it's the creativity. Uh, we're going to be, I'm going to be instructing the judges to look for uh, uh, continuity of the, uh, what they ask of them. They are going to represent or do a country and the five elements of what that country particularly represents. So we've managed to wrangle a couple of the models together and I'm trying to decipher which countries you are. So you are Africa? Kenya. Kenya? Japan? India. Spain. Spain, you have a very interesting headdress situation going on there. Sagrada Familia, it's from Barcelona. The church, of course. And how long did it take to get all of this painted on you? Four hours. Now, did you guys get to pick your artist, or did the artist pick you? The artist picked, uh, she did pick me, and she booked me two months before, <laughs> which is really was interesting, but I was glad that she picked me. And is it uncomfortable to be in this attire right now, India? It's not uncomfortable. Actually, it feels really amazing. I feel like an Indian princess. Japan, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. It doesn't feel like I have nothing on. <laughs> and Spain, will you be walking around this evening? Can we come in a little bit closer? Will you be walking around, uh, I don't know, downtown Vancouver looking oh, yeah. like? Yeah, you know, now I don't have to worry about what I'm going to wear. It's easy. <laughs> that is the question. Where are you guys going after the big event tonight, after Carnival? I'm throwing a big party at my house. Like this? Yes. <laughs> so they get to expect the new Regina, I guess, the, the real African, because this is how... 
um, the women back home represent themselves in the village, which is I didn't get to experience it, and now I am. That's excellent. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking to VancouverBC.com. We can't talk to the models without talking to the makeup artist. So, Jen Little, how long did it take you to create Canada? Uh, well, we had a four-hour time limit. So we were here at three, started painting at four. How long does something like this usually take? Because this looks really intricate and um, very detailed. About about four hours. I would have liked to have another half an hour just to tweak it, but I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Did you? Was it a lot of airbrushing? Was there a lot of painting? What was um, your technique? I actually did a little bit of everything. I started with a brush, brush painting, like literally just a large house painting brush, great big wide one to lay down the base, and then fill in uh, any spots that were a little bit little bit weak with the airbrush and then a lot of hand painting and brush painting and sponge painting so I did it all. <laughs> so can you explain a little bit from head to toe what's going on on Sky our model tonight? All right well of course we've got the beautiful native Indian headdress and I thought that tied in well with the native art on the legs um, and of course Canadian geese you can't have Canada without Canadian geese. Or mountains. Exactly beautiful mountains and maple leaves. I was originally going to do mountains with forest but I figured forest all countries have forests so I wanted to be a little more Canadian obviously so I went with a collage of maple leaves and uh, yeah. I noticed a little and Olympic the theme awesome going on back. on the back. Absolutely. Turn for around. me. So the Anukshuk on the back, I, uh, I just thought it was such a strong visual. And of course, with the Olympics coming up, I wanted to tie that in. And I, I just wanted to get more colors in the back with the sunset, the pinks and the oranges and the yellows. I thought it really made the Anukshuk pop. And I just carried the Canadian geese all around the whole body. Do the colors mean anything specific? Um, you know, actually, I was down at English Bay the other day, and the sun was setting, and I was literally right in front of the Anukshuk, and I saw it, and I just thought, that's what I have to do. This is my model That is right what here. I have to do, and uh, I, I always wanted to do the blue sky, and ironically enough, my model's name is Sky, so she makes the most beautiful sky, and I'm very happy with it. Well, congratulations, thank and you. good luck on the competition. Thank you so much. And thank you for talking to VancouverBC.com, girls. My pleasure. Well, I hope you've had as much fun as we've had here tonight at the 14th Annual Carnival brought to you by Dominelli. So much to see, and maybe you can be a part of it next year, too, by becoming one of the makeup artists. I can't believe that stuff was painted and airbrushed on. Man, that's craziness. Well, thank you for checking out VancouverBC.com. I'm Barbara Beam. We'll see you next time.